Hello, my friend, and welcome to Wisdom Trek. This is Guthrie Chamberlain, and I'm your guide to wisdom and creating a living legacy. As we begin our second year of Wisdom Trek, as of June 1st, we have made some changes to the frequency and the format of Wisdom Trek. We are creating three themed treks per week, which will be Motivation Monday, Wisdom Wednesday, and Philosophy Friday. Each of the daily treks will be approximately 12 minutes in length, so slightly longer than previously, but still easy to listen to in one session. Thank you for joining us for our three-day-per-week, 12 Minutes of Wisdom podcast. This is day 368 of our trek, and today will be our Philosophy Friday episode. And we are beginning a series that will run for the next few Fridays as we hike the trail that will cover the seasons of life. This information is based on my own experience in life and some lessons I have learned through one of my virtual mentors, Jim Rohn. We are broadcasting from our studios at the Big House in Marietta, Ohio. As I'm creating this podcast, it is interesting and amazing watching the number of cicada that seem to be flying everywhere outside our windows. The noise that they make is truly mesmerizing. This is the year when the 17-year locusts come out in southern Ohio. Their life cycle is very interesting as they occupy nearly all the 17 years as grubs that burrow deep into the ground just waiting for their time to emerge. When they do emerge from their rest, they break out of their shells, unfurl their wings, and are on the hunt for a mate. The females lay their eggs in the soft branches of the tree, and when they hatch, the grubs fall to the ground, burrow deep into the earth, and wait for another 17 years. Many of them do not make it due to the birds, weather, and numerous other perils. That is their cycle of life, and each stage is a season of life for them. Although our lives should last much longer and have a more apparent significance than the cicada, we also experience distinct seasons in our lives. God has designed a purpose for the cicada, even if we may not understand it. But God has a much greater purpose for our lives, since we are made in His image. Let us philosophize a bit today and explore some of the seasons of life that we go through and how our decisions impact those seasons of life. So the titles for our Philosophy Friday is The Cycle and Seasons of Life, Part 1. President John Kennedy once remarked that Winston Churchill mobilized the English language and sent it into battle. Past generations have heard the stirring words of Cicero, Daniel Webster, Disraeli, Churchill, and Kennedy. These men were touched by their creator with the gift of changing the course of human history and the quality of the individual life through their well-spoken words. It is with the words in today's podcast and journal, if applied, will transform your life to living on purpose and with purpose. For 6,000 years of recorded history, humans have entered the world they received parental instructions, classroom instruction, and gathered the experiences of life. Many have set for themselves ambitious goals and dreamed lofty dreams, but upon the day that they draw their last breath, have left little behind as evidence of their existence other than a birth certificate, a grave marker, and nearly a million dollars in goods and services consumed between the humble beginnings and an uneventful end. Books have been written on the subject of human achievement, seminars and webinars and conducted on how to find success, and those who have met with and embraced success willingly share their ideas and insight with all those who will listen. For some, worldly riches are gained at the price of lost friends and broken families. For others, fortunes remain forever elusive, while families remain precariously intact. For most, we remain forever in one of those two categories, either poor, seeking to become wealthy, or wealthy, always seeking to rediscover the happiness we had when we were poor. This is certainly not a new phenomenon, as King Solomon wrote in the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 1, verses 9 through 11, history merely repeats itself. It has all been done before. Nothing under the sun is truly new. Sometimes people say, here is something new, but it is actually old. Nothing is ever truly new. We don't remember what happened in the past, and in future generations, no one will remember what we are doing now. This series of podcasts and corresponding journals are a condensation of ideas and observations gained over the past four decades both mine and what I have learned from Jim Rohn and many others. I will attempt to place life, its events, purposes, opportunities, and challenges into perspective. This series is not intended to be an instructional treatise on either how to achieve success or how to avoid failure. If life were to hold such a precise answer to these age-old questions, surely their discovery would be history, and each of us would now be living to enjoy our success. In truth, what is the formula to success for one will lead to self-destruction in another. As certainly as our Creator has made us individually unique, He also preserves in each of us individually unique answers to the challenges of life. It is the purpose of this Philosophy Friday podcast and journal series over the next few weeks to awaken within each of us the storehouse of inspiration and answers that lie dormant, 
where they have been since being placed there at conception by our Creator and now resides within our hearts and minds of each of us. On our trek through life, let's seek to discover our own individual answers to our own individual challenges by exploring the cycles and seasons of life. And the first area we want to look at is the effect of the environment on our circumstances. All of us, whether rich or poor, young or old, educated or not so educated, are the sum total of all the peoples and events that have touched and nurtured us since first entering into this world. Every thought that we have allowed permeating our minds has had an impact on what we are now. Every person that we have met has had an impact on us. Every movie that we have watched has had its impact. Every book or magazine that we've read has had its impact. Every TV show has had its impact. Every podcast that we've listened to has had its impact. Every disappointment, triumph, doubt, dream, and love for someone each has had their impact. What we are and what we have is a result of what we have slowly brought upon ourselves. It is the human tendency to blame someone or something else for our lack of progress or seeming failure. We blame family members, government, competitors, managers, economic conditions, pay schedules, some malady or condition, or even the traffic and weather for our circumstances. Every person, circumstance, and event that have left their mark, whether favorable or unfavorable, are now behind you. What happened even as recently as yesterday is no longer of any consequence unless you choose to allow it to be. What is of great importance is who and what it is that leaves its mark today and each day after that. What you have been in the past is an established and unchangeable fact. What you can be in the future is an unlimited, boundless opportunity. Therefore, do not allow your awareness of the past or its failures to adversely affect your current and future possibilities. The greatest value of the past is how wisely you invest it into the future. You are free from the past. You are not a slave to it. Let the past be your servant for making the future both more rich and satisfying. If you do seriously accept that you deserve and will one day achieve financial freedom, then break off the rearview mirror of your life and concentrate on what lies ahead. Begin your quest for achievement by taking a close inventory of the people and circumstances which today touch your life, for it is their impact which will determine what lies ahead for you. To draw on my farming background, I will use this analogy. The people, circumstances, and other influences that are on your life now will determine the size of your crop when the harvest time comes next fall. We have only traveled a few paces on our journey for today, and there is so much more to consider. We will continue on this trail next Friday, so don't miss it. Our next trek in the series will be Motivation Monday, where our trail will be to motivate and inspire you for the next week. As a follow-up to Wisdom Wednesday's trail, I want to remind you of the challenge that I extended to you. Since we are still early in the month, I challenge you to take the Proverbs 30-day challenge with me. For each day in June, read the chapter in Proverbs that correspond to the day of the month. On the 30th day, read the final two chapters. I have made this practice a habit which I have repeated every month for most of my adult life. And I can say without hesitation that this single habit has done more for me for gaining wisdom, insight, and understanding in my life than any other single habit. In less than five minutes per day, you can take your daily wisdom supplements, which if repeated each day, will make you healthy, wealthy, and wise. It has certainly worked for me, and I know it will work for you also. Let me know if you have accepted my challenge by emailing me at guthrieadventurecg.com. The theme podcast each week will motivate you, give you wisdom, and allow you to philosophize about life. So encourage your family and friends to join us, and then come along on Monday for another day of Wisdom Trek, Creating a Legacy. That will finish our trek for today. Just as you enjoy these doses of wisdom, we ask you to help us to grow Wisdom Trek by sharing it with your family and friends through email, Facebook, Twitter, or in person when you meet with them, and invite them to come along on each of our treks. If you'd like to listen to any of the past daily treks, they are available at wisdom-trek.com. And don't forget to subscribe to Wisdom Trek at iTunes, Spreaker, Stitcher, SoundCloud, iHeartRadio, or Google Play, so that each trek will be downloaded to you automatically. The journal for today's trek is available at wisdom-trek.com. Thank you so much for allowing me to be your guide, your mentor, but most importantly, I am your friend, as I serve you through the Wisdom Trek podcast and journal. As we take this trek together, let us always live abundantly. Love unconditionally, listen intentionally, learn continuously, lend to others generously, lead with integrity, and leave a living legacy each day. This is Guthrie Chamberlain reminding you to keep moving forward, enjoy your journey, and then create a great day every day. See you on Monday.